Hello everyone, today I'm going to be opening some Pokemon mail. This is one of the only ways that you can um, guarantee a holo in every single pack, if you know what I'm saying. So, the reason why I like to record these videos, um, number one, I don't always upload all these videos. I tend to record them because when you're buying things from eBay or the Facebook Marketplace or wherever it is, um, let's imagine you open your package and what you've ordered isn't what's in there or it's really badly damaged, or it's not as described. It's very, very difficult to prove that unless you've got some sort of video evidence um, to assist you, really. Um, so that's one reason why I do it. But then, on, a, on an occasion like today, obviously, that's the reason. However, it's also for, you know, entertainment value. Gives us all um, a bit of suspense. Wait, what's this? Two packages together, or is it in half? I think it's an envelope in half. Yeah, you know, it, we, we all get to feel a bit of suspense, a bit of that, you know, well, what's in here kind of vibe, which is the same thing that you get, or the same feeling you get, you know, when you open the booster pack. Um, hopefully, during this opening, I don't um, cut any cards in half. So, you can see what that is right away. Um, a lot of these things in these packages that I've ordered, some are for grading potential, some are for like my wife's binder. I've got her a few cards in here um, to put in her binder. Um, and some might just be because I like the card and thought I'll get that. Now this is a gorgeous card. It is a, as you can see, a Dark Dragonite from Team Rocket. I love all the dark cards from this set. Um, it's really, really, really good condition. Um, it's not a 10, definitely not a 10 condition, but it's definitely, you know, a contender for maybe an eight. Or a nine. I doubt a nine, but hopefully an eight. And it would be good. But yeah, it's just beautiful artwork. I had to buy this. It was a decent price on bid. So that's a nice first package to open. Um, this next one here is... Let me make sure my address isn't showing on that side. Okay, it's not. So this one here is from um, Japan. Um, and you can see here, let me show you. They've actually called it uh, Anime Card. Um, so... With this package in particular, um, I ordered something that wasn't available in the UK at the time, but I really, really just wanted to own this card. Um, so when I bought it, the price that I paid, you know, I can't tell you whether it was a good price, the price, price, or wasn't a good price, because it had just come out. So I kind of paid the premium on a bit of a risky risky business move um, just because I really want to own the card and I thought if I buy it now and it does go up higher then at least um, how do I get this out without damaging anything then at least you know I don't regret having to pay a premium at, at a later date which might cost more let me see what these notes are in here thanks for buying all Japan shop Japan lovely so, this is my first ever time ordering something internationally as well. Um, so, I'm just very happy to uh, that it's actually come here and I didn't get scammed or anything. So, we've got a lovely sleeve here. I don't know who or what that is, but it's a cool sleeve. Now, to reveal the card. Boom! Oh, wow, look at that. That is a beautiful card. But yeah, I really, really just wanted to own this. Um... It's quite off center and it looks like it's slightly chipped there on the left side, if you can see that. Um, like I'm still gonna grade it, but unfortunately it, it is off center. And that's the risk that you face when you order these cards, um, especially when they've just been released because they use stock photos. They don't, they don't use photos of cards um, that they actually have in hand. It's just a stock photo, so. Unfortunately, you know, centering isn't on point, but regardless, an absolutely stunning card and one that I'll be sending for grading anyway. Um, I actually opened two boxes, one bottle of Rapid Strike and one bottle. One box of Rapid Strike and one box of um, Single Strike of the Japanese Battle Styles, and I'll be uploading those videos soon as well. Uh, this was a card that I ordered for my wife's binder. Um, it's just a really cute card. She likes Pikachu, she likes Eevee. They're both in the artwork. Um, yeah, I thought it was really nice. Unfortunately, I did want to grade this card for her, but this one perhaps not. It's got a nice little crease there at the bottom. 
But for a binder, it's absolutely brilliant just to sit in there and look all pretty. So another nice card to get there. Um, let's see what we've got next. Uh, and they cover up this person's address because they they've got their address there. Uh, just cut the, I would say lid then, lid. The entrance, the opening, the, the whatever, whatever. Let's see what we've got in here. Okay. I hate when things are tapes. Like, I know it's great, but it's just, it's so, um, slows me down, man. Where should we cut from? Where should we cut from? Not damaging anything. Stick it in there. Oh, jeez. That's what, that's, that's how not to use scissors, because if they were sharp, that would have hurt. There we go. And then one more on this side, and we should have the card free. And boom, there you go. Pikachu Kanazawa, was it? I don't remember the exact name, but the center on that looks gorgeous. Now, I paid, right, I paid £50 for this at like, what's that on my hand? At like 2 in the morning. I was awake at 2 in the morning, went on eBay, I paid 50 quid, um, And then the literal next day, the literal next day, it jumped to £70, £75. It is absolutely ridiculous. I bought this at a great time. One of my friends has actually got like 20 of these or 10. I don't know. How, he's got a load of these that he paid like £10 a piece for. Ridiculous. So if you're ahead of the curve, you're ahead of the curve. And, you know, he, he didn't buy them knowing that they're going to go up in price. He bought them because um, he just liked the card. And luckily for him, you know, it paid off now because at £10 a piece, they're now worth crazy amounts each. Now, these, um, they were like three for a fiver. I uh, thought they were cute. They're just commons, Pikachus. Uh, again, for the wife's binder. Um, I might gift away the other two as well. Or I might give one to my wife, keep one and give one away. I don't know. But I just thought they were nice, nice little Pikachus to own. So we'll uh, stick them next to the other Pikachu. Right, it's not mixed up my packages now. Um... We've got, I think we've got one, two, three left. This one's heavy. This one's a bit thick. So I think I know what this one is. Um, how am I going to open this? Well, quick from the side here. Oh, yeah. No, no. Now I know. No, no. I know exactly what this is. So basically, um, I entered a box break um, on Instagram. And it's my first ever box break that I entered. Like the first ever time. So I bought two packs. Um, look how they're packaged. So those are the cart. Oh wow, look at that! Like mad. So um, this is my main pull, I believe. It's it's, it's got to be my main pull. Um, it was two packs of tag team jets that I got. Um, so what we'll do, we'll go through all my pulls, and then we'll go through. Um, well, well, I'll show you my main pull. Should I say? So we've got a Zapdos Hollow, a Jirachi Hollow. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Incineroar. Uh, oh, that's a beautiful... I remember getting this pulled. I was like so happy with this. It's a beautiful Vaporeon. Very cute pulls. Again, probably give that to my wife to put in a binder. Um, don't know what that is. A Pidgey. A Reverse Squirtle. Again, I was buzzing when I got this Reverse Squirtle. Such a nice card. Uh, reverse... A bit. Psychic Energy. And then a regular Grass on the side. So, some really nice hollows there that I got in that pack. You know, to get a, to get a Zapdos and a Jirachi which are both legendaries in a hollow form is amazing. Um, I'm not going to try and get them back in there right now just, just because I might scuff up the cards. And then, is this sealed at the top? No. And then in my other pack, I got this Incineroar GX uh, Half Art, which is a nice card. Um, then I got a Heatran, I think it's called. A Absol. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. I like this trainer card, very nice. A Diglett. A Alolan Vulpix, a Meowth, which again is a cute card, um, don't know what that is, and a Reverse Fairy Energy, which I'm happy to get as well, quite a nice um, energy there, so that was good. And then my main pull that I got from the box break was a Charizard and Reshiram GX, which is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's, it's, it's a madness, right, because it's, it's a Charizard and a Legendary, arguably two Legendaries in one card, and it's worth like eight quid. It doesn't have much value, but to me, to look at it, like it's it's worth so much more than that. Um, so I'm definitely going to be getting this graded along with the other like 
the, I, I'm, I'm trying to do a 200 card submission. So this will be absolutely great with that submission. So that's getting submitted, that's getting submitted, that's getting submitted, and that's getting submitted. So quite a few good ones there. All right, we've got a, um, another letter here. Let's see what we've got. Is this KFC? No, no, it's um, Kellogg's in it. I thought it was a KFC thing then. Oh my God. <laughs> right, so I bought this card, which is quite damaged, right? It's really damaged. I paid like six quid or like five pounds for it. Look at that. Ben, um, God knows what's happening on this left side. I can literally see, I can literally see the cardboard underneath. Um, the foil coming off top right creases it's ugly <laughs> all that stuff but i just thought it's a nice card and i want to own it um maybe I just, maybe i'll just in the mood to buy something so i bought it i don't know but for six pound you can't complain but the fact that he's got the odd whoever sold me this has got the audacity to not put it even in a sleeve i get i get it it's hurt it's a wounded it's a wounded fighter right but Come on, you can do better than Kellogg's. Give, give him a sleeve at least. I'll sleeve him. I'll sleeve him and I'll stick him in a binder and he'll stay safe in there. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> right, I believe this is the last package unless I've lost one somewhere. Um, but let's have a looky look in here. Um, some uh, cling film. Very nice, and a code card. You guys can have these code cards. I'm assuming they're not being used. Either that or he's using them as like, um, what do you call it? Like a top loader or something, maybe. But uh, let's get this out. This is a really weird packaging. I feel like I'm unwrapping some illegal substances. Uh, not that I handle illegal substances, of course, just, you know. What I can imagine it be like in the movies and all that. Come on. Maybe he wrapped it in a way that like you damage the cards <laughs> as they come out. There we go. There we go. One code card for you guys. What is that? Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. Of course it's Rebel. Of course it's Rebel Clash. But we got one there for Vivid Voltage. So hopefully they're not used and you guys can have those for yourselves. Um, right, let's see. We got a Zacian, amazing rare. Um, for those of you that follow my Instagram, you'll know that I've been collecting amazing rares and I'm trying to get as many of them as I can. Is there two cards in here? Or am I tripping? No, just one card. I'm tripping. But yeah, I'm, I'm collecting amazing rares. There's another one, Vivid Voltage. Enjoy. And the other one is a Celebi amazing rare, which is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful card on, on the back there. But yeah, you'll see how many of these I've got ready for grading uh, when I do my submission video. Um, stick those there. Let me just quickly double check that I've opened absolutely everything that I was supposed to open. Yeah, empty, 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 empty. Yeah, I'm waiting for like one more thing in the post. Um, which is another Zation. <laughs> Obviously, I won't be uploading the video just for one, just for one card. But yeah, I'm trying to really like submit loads of these just for two reasons. Number one, I think they look amazing, and number two, I think they're going to age really well. But if you've watched the video right to the end, I want to thank you guys very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. I've got plenty of openings planned for the future. And make sure you check out my Instagram at TCG Money, where I currently have a giveaway for an art set of booster packs of Shining Fates. So again, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy your day, your night, your evening, whatever. And I'll catch you in the next video.